Hey Premier Planet, it's JB, Justin Barlow, inside the Premier Studio in Woodstock, Illinois, and I'm here to tell you all about PPW 152. As always, a big heartfelt thank you to all of you out there in the Premier Planet who came out to support us this last Saturday night. If you weren't able to make it out to Woodstock, let me fill you in on all the action you missed. Our opening contest featured the current Dirty Boys Club Pledge, Hammond Eggerts taking on from the block, Jamie Garza. Now, both of these guys' stocks have been rising ever since they joined up with the Premier Academy. And Hammond, though, flanked by all three members of the Dirty Boys Club, one, one has to wonder how much more can one ham take when it comes to the, some would call it abuse at the hands of the Dirty Boys Club. You, you heard them talk earlier in the week about locking him in a basement without food and water. It's, it's amazing that he still wants to impress these guys. He had his hands full tonight with Jamie Garza. Instead of me telling you what happened here, this was this, this blew my mind. Let's just let's let's see the footage on this one. <laughs> Disqualification, Hammond Eggerts! So you can see there, Hammond Eggerts, some would say stealing one from Jamie Garza, clubbing the referee across the back, saying, Oh no, it wasn't me, it was Jamie, Jamie did it. The referee believes him, calls the match in Hammond's favor, and the Dirty Boys Club come out and they celebrate with their little ham. Following that, it was a number one contenders qualifier match, not a number one contenders match, but a match to determine who would participate in, a, in an upcoming number one contenders match, which is scheduled for this Saturday night at PBW 153. It was the PBW veteran Irish Andy Anderson taking on Woodstock's favorite son, El Mero Mero Iniestra. And as you can see from the footage here, at the climax of this matchup, Chase Gosling gets on the ring. He's trying to hold Iniestra back. The referee's telling Andy, I'm going to throw this match out. If you hit Iniestra while he's being held back, Andy doesn't seem to care. He goes in for the hit, nearly clocks Chase Gosling. This gives Iniestra the opening he needs to roll Andy up. One, two, three. And this Saturday night at PPW 153, Iniestra is headed towards a number one contenders match. Following that, after tearing the house down at PPW 150, it was Chase Gosling and the human video game Scott Colton, two former PPW World Heavyweight Champions, locking horns, and let's see how this one played out because the number one contendership was on the line, a lot riding on this one. <laughs> see there, Scott Colton is able to get the 1-2-3 over a very, very disgruntled Chase Gosling. And Scott Colton heads into this Saturday night to the main event to compete for the PPW World Heavyweight Championship, and he wants that gold back, I can guarantee you that. Following that, it was the return of the ladies of PPW. 
Sierra was 2-0 and oh over Sky Blue going into this one. Sky working her tail off in the Premier Academy, really wanting to finally, finally grab that brass ring, get her first win in PPW. As you can see here from the footage, Sierra has Sky locked into a bridging armbar. This match had a 15 minute time limit. Sky Blue, in an intense amount of pain, refuses, absolutely refuses to give up. The bell gets called because the 15 minute time limit expires. There is no winner, it's a draw. However, Sky Blue refusing to quit is a loud enough statement. And it was announced just after the matchup that these two will tangle again this Saturday night at PPW 153 in the hopes that they can settle this time limit draw. And then in our main event, after being put on the shelf a couple of weeks ago, the PPW World Heavyweight Champion, the world exclusive Matt Vine, gets into the ring with, with Ronnie Veronica Metro, one of the guys who put him on the shelf in the first place. So not only was defending the title on Vine's mind, revenge was as well. And let's see what happened in the closing moments of this World Heavyweight Championship match. So you can see right there, Ronnie Veronica, a handful of tights. He rolls Vine up, much to the dismay of the Premier Planet. He gets that handful of tights, one, two, three, and we have a new World Heavyweight Champion in Premier Pro Wrestling, Ronnie Veronica Metro. One might wonder if they're co-champions or one champion. Anyway, that's up for debate. But nevertheless, Ronnie Veronica Metro now wears the gold, is on top of the mountain here at PPW. Matt Vine has been knocked down a few pegs, and this Saturday night, Matt Vine is going to have to go one-on-one -on -one with a former rival and one of his former mentors, Irish Andy Anderson, in a number one contender's qualifier match. Vine's got to climb the rungs of that ladder back up to the top of PPW if he wants to regain the World Heavyweight Championship. But Ronnie, Veronica Metro, no easy task ahead of him, her, either this coming Saturday night as he, she has to face the former world, one of the former World Heavyweight Champions and someone who's very, very hungry, the human video game, Scott Colton. Thank you, Premier Planet, as always, for your continued support of us here at PPW. Again, if you're new with us, that address is 1230 Davis Road in Woodstock, Illinois. We are out here inside the Premier Studio every single Saturday night for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to follow us all over social media. You can find us at PremierProWrestling.com where you can actually reserve your tickets ahead of time for all of our weekly studio tapings. Once again, my name is Justin Barlow. As always, it's been an honor to be here wrapping up PPW 152 for you. We will see you folks out here in Woodstock.